welcome to a The Crafting Ant Care Guide for Terminal Thorax. We hope to give you a good picture of these wonderful tiny ants. We will be looking at Terminal Thorax nilandri. There are several Terminal Thorax species, but the care is mostly the same. Terminal Thorax are also called acorn ants, because most colonies start in an acorn. They are easy to keep, very gentle, and with a good medium growth rate, they are a very nice starter species. General information. Terminal thorax ants are pretty small. The queen can be three to five millimeters and workers two to three millimeters. And they don't have majors. The queen is monogyne, and this means that they accept only one queen. The queen is also fully claustral. This means that after the nuptial flights, she raises her first workers without leaving her nest. She gets the protein needed from decomposition of her wing muscles. The nuptial flights are in the summer, on a warm and humid evening. Their colors are yellow to yellow-brown with a dark brown head. Temnal thorax nilandri can be found in the north of Europe but other species of terminal thorax can be found around the world. Growth The growth speed of the ants really depends on all kinds of circumstances. Food, humidity, temperature, setup, etc. But normally, egg to larvae 10 to 16 days. Larvae to cocoon 10 to 14 days. Cocoon to worker, 10 to 24 days. And the colony can grow up to a couple of hundred workers. Temperature. Temnothorax nilandri will do great between 17 and 25 degrees Celsius. But also can handle cold temperatures really well. This means they are great at room temperature and don't require heat cables or other measures for heat. Humidity. The humidity for the Temnothorax nilandri nest is the best between 40 and 60 percent. But they are very good at taking care of this themselves. Just give them a good water supply, like a water-filled test tube, a liquid feeder or a double drinker. Food. Their normal food would be small. Insects like fruit flies, small crickets and buffalo worms are great for them. But they aren't hunters, they gather. You can feed them bigger insects as long as they are pre-killed. They are not picky eaters and they love their sugars. Diluted honey, sugar water will get them running out of the nest. And with all ants, a water supply is always needed. Hibernation As said before, Temnophorax nilandri can handle cold weather really well. Their hibernation period is short, from November to February at 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. But they don't go into full shutdown. They keep active, so there is a debate at what rate it is really necessary. Housing. Temnothorax nilandri live in forested areas, and most colonies start in an acorn. They cannot get into the acorn themselves. They occupy the leftover space made by a larvae of an acorn weevil. The acorn weevil makes a hole in an unripe acorn and lays an egg. The egg hatches into a larvae that eats the inside of the acorn until it falls from the tree. Then the larvae exits the acorn and the queen moves in. When they outgrow the acorn, they can start making satellite nests, but also tend to move to fallen wood or bark of trees. In captivity, they do well in a wide variety of nests, from white tongue to wood. For natural setups, Walnuts are a great solution. Quick summary. 
Temnothorax nylandri is a cute and harmless ant species. They are small but very active. They are easy with humidity and temperature and can be put in all kinds of small nests. The only downside is their size. They are able to escape easily and are hard to observe or film. This is all you need to know about these wonderful ants. Did you like the setups? Go to thecraftingant.com. You want more information or help? Join our Discord. And of course, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching, and see you next time at the Crafting End.